David, we just witnessed you take uh, first place in 750 Formula, first race at Thruxton as well, and a lap record. How was that for you? Uh, it, was a, oh, it was a great race. It was uh, the uh, the start. I think was lucky. Dave had a Dave had a problem, so ni nicely going into the first corner, and then uh, focused on building a bit of a bit of a gap. I didn't know about the lap record to the end, but very very pleased with that. So I actually held the previous one. So quite nice to get the new one back here seven years later. Perfect. So you've you've beaten the lap record, your own lap records. It looks, um, like, it. It looks like it. <laughs> what what about the car? What's changed in the car? Um, so car, I mean the car's lots lots of bits have changed I guess, it's a bit like Trigger's Broom, but nothing too major since we were here last time. I think the conditions are nice, right? So tires. Tire, yeah, new tyres, but uh, yeah, it's a nice day, not too much wind, nice and cool. I think it was perfect for it and I didn't have these guys giving me too much hassle for once, which was nice. And I've heard you share the car as well? Yeah, so three, three of us. Uh, so we, we, uh, we all met uh, a little while ago racing low cost. So we all had low costs uh, back then. And then we've come to 750 Formula as a, as a graduate of that. And, uh, and three, three of us have the car. So we tend to, tend to take it in turns and those kinds of things. It works quite well. Built in pit crew with the, uh, with the weekend, if you see what I mean. Awesome. Well, congratulations again on your first place. Thanks very much. So we just move on to you, um, on to you, Dave. A um, bit of a troublesome start. Just talk, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it, it's... I use a hand throttle on the car and one of one of the challenges is getting the thing off the line and I demonstrated that perfectly today by stalling it. <laughs> so obviously you was playing a little bit of catch up after that yes, um, troublesome yes. start so how did the rest of the race pan out for you? The rest of the the first half of the race was good fun that was chase catch pass chase catch pass. Um, second half of the race I got up to second by that point and I was struggling with the hand throttle out of the back of the circuit holding full throttle for long periods of time. I was starting to, tendons were starting to hurt my wrist. So I was actually changing fingers on, on full throttle so that I could try and rest the tendons in, in, in my wrist. So even if I got off with Dave, by the end of the race, I wouldn't have been in any position to give him any grief. <laughs> so, uh, so you're planning a better start, but then trying to hold position for... Be for better start. Um, you're on we'll pole for the next one. I'm on pole for the next one, yes. Uh, so even more people could hit me if I stall it. Um, uh, so yes, we've just got to see if we can do anything to make the hand throttle easier to use, specifically around here where you're on full throttle for, for so long. It is a very fast circuit, UK's fastest circuit. Yeah. So good luck with the remainder of the day and uh, well done on your second place as well. Thanks Thank you. We're just going to move on to Steve as well. So Steve, um, obviously uh, you started in, in fourth position, was it? Tell us a little bit about your race. Yeah, it was good. I, um, I mean, obviously Dave uh, sitting on the line when the lights went out, albeit the lights weren't very bright and went off quickly. <laughs> um, and yeah, luckily I was, uh, you know, not directly behind Dave, so I don't know what happened behind, but I imagine it was a surprise for a few people. But yeah, I got a great start up into second straight away, and I held it there for a couple of laps and until I could see <laughs> the yellow rocket appearing behind me. And uh, you know, it's just a case of just let him go past. I'm not going to try and hold Dave up at all and just try and bring it home on the podium. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, awesome. And this is um, one of the longest serving. Uh, series or, or formula you know going out there so tell us a little bit about the, the car you race because that's got a bit of history behind it as well it has yeah my car is uh, a Darvey built by the late Dick Harvey uh, mine dates from about 1990 um, the formula is the oldest continuous running formula in the world um, this year is our 75th anniversary um, and I think certainly I am very proud and privileged to be racing in this formula amongst a, a great bunch of people and uh, yeah I wouldn't change it for the world it's fantastic that's great, thank you Steve. Thank you. So that was 750 Formula and your podium.